And what's popping with you, my collectors? It's White Butterfly Ascension. Coming again, my Aquarius, y'all reading. From the 24th of August to the 30th of August. Y'all got Homebody by Lil Dirk. Featuring Tiana Taylor. So y'all Homebody, y'all been at the crib lately. Or y'all gonna be at the crib this week. And chilling out. Maybe chilling with your boo. Getting it in. He already said he gonna put his back into it. And she said don't tell nobody. So maybe it's on the low. We got Yuna Crush featuring Usher. So maybe you about to be sexing the one you got a crush on. And I'm gonna be a little homebody this week with that person. Okay. Monica believing in me. Monica is a Scorpio. Maybe somebody in their feelings. Cause she said, I apologize for everything I've done. I was rude. So maybe I had an argument. Maybe I've been getting into it. So y'all gonna have some makeup sex. But this person or you feel like you would die for the other person. There's a lot of love and companionship with this person. Let's see what y'all got going on. Let's see what it do, baby. So at the end of the day, this person is really figuring out that they will die for you. And they will commit to you. So they're digging you. They got a crush on you. They know that they've had, or y'all had an argument. But they want an equal give and take. That cup of love. Somebody been up in the head. Let's see. What does your person think of you? What does Aquarius person think of them? What does Aquarius person think of them? <coughs> this person about you what annoys this let me stop right there let me groan I didn't groan y'all want to clear the energy give y'all clear and concise messages so don't never want to not clear the energy always sage and all that before I cut on the camera FYI but let's see what annoys this person of you about you what do they like most about you what does this person like most about Aquarius? And what's the advice for Aquarius in this person? What's the advice for Aquarius in this person? What's the advice for Aquarius in this person? I got three of cups at the bottom, so this person definitely, I told you, want to celebrate with you. So the impression of you <clears throat> is you take risks, you take gambles, but you always fulfillment to this person. 
they feel like they can grow within this relationship, within this connection. They feel as though if they took a risk with you, it would be abundant. If they took a risk with you, it would be a abundant relationship. What annoys this person? There was a cycle that closed out with you and this person. There was a time when communication, spending time, being with this person stopped. Kept you up in your head. You didn't know. Because y'all was spending a lot of time together, you did see this person as your happily ever after. You saw stability with this person. But there was a stop. Some type of ending. Even if y'all got back together. And as I say that, two of wands and a seven of coins. So, maybe you have a small dog. And you chose to close out a cycle with this person and focus on your money. Invest in yourself. Monica song, believing in me. You started to bet more on yourself, take more of a risk on yourself. When this cycle closed out with this person. Seven of Wands. Someone has been defensive someone has pushing the other person away not wanting to discuss the issues at hand the risk that's being taken the cycle that closed the time that was spent Maybe there was an inner knowing. The world thought. You started to take more risks on yourself. You started to invest more than yourself. After this breakup. After this argument. After the choosing to go another route. Another direction. Y'all was together for a while. Plenty of seasons. But somebody felt backstabbed and betrayed. That's why y'all ended things. We got Knight of Cups and Justice. Now this person that wants to rush towards you. Bounce out the scales. See? Somebody walked away. Page of Coins and the Nine of Cups. They walked away from a stable commitment that there was wish fulfillment with. But now someone wants to balance the scale, show emotions after walking away from this connection. They want to come in and have victory, nine of wands. They're coming back passionately. Maybe between dust and dawn. This person sees you as with fulfillment. That's the reason why they're coming back. So they want to surrender to this connection. They want to work on this connection again. They feel like things can work. Maybe you feel like things can work. They're passionate about you. 
passionate about this connection, ready to take action. Pusa by Jeremiah. Somebody been all up in the head. Queen of Swords. Or someone wants to speak how they feel. Take action towards you to tell you how they feel. To balance the scales. Speak their truth. Tower moment. It's unexpected to you. After they speak their peace, there's going to be an epiphany about the direction of what you're going at with this connection or where things will be going. Palace of Swords. Fake. Reminiscing. Six of Cups. Page of Cups. So this person is hoping to gain clarity with the household situation or coming back towards you. They've been praying. This is someone that you had a past with. Someone that you had a lot of love with. A lot of memories with this person or you've been praying for this connection to come back together. They want to come in and face not a pinnacle, I mean not a coins. They've been thinking about this connection making a way to come through fast so they see victory six of wands and the knight of swords is back at the bottom of the deck so they are ready to take action to give you clarity they see victory taking action towards you they see victory. They've been praying on this. They have too much love to let you go. There's been a lot of time invested. Too much love. Too much love. Ten of Cups in the tree of life. They built too much. They built too much into this. They put too much time into this. Family ties, the dog, the house, the kids. If y'all don't have kids, y'all got an animal that y'all share. A dog, maybe brown. This person, or you make this person happy. So they're coming in fast, Knight of Wands. This person is going to come fast towards you because they see happiness with you. Let's go down the list for Aries to Pisces. Aries to Pisces. Aquarius dealing with Aries. Aquarius dealing with Aries. Because you got the Nine of Wands, King of Wands, Sun Card, and the Six of Wands. So, Aries. I'm going to turn this back around because the deck was upside down. So we got engagement. So maybe this is was a marriage. Or y'all was engaged. And it didn't happen. Now this person wants to come in and build this life with you. Aquarius dealing with Taurus. Let me go through this deck right quick because that's upside down too. This 
person feels like happiness with you. They feel victory with you. They feel success with this connection, with this reconciliation. That's what they're hoping for, at least. Aquarius dealing with a Taurus. Chemistry. This person feels like you belong to them. They got wrong. I belong to you playing attraction and trust for Gemini. Aquarius and Cancer. Release your ex. Aquarius. Leo. Very soon. Aquarius, Virgo. Express your love, honeymoon. Aquarius, Libra. Religious factors. Aquarius, Scorpio. Came out sideways, worth waiting for. So maybe this person waiting, maybe they're not. Aquarius, Sagittarius. Deception, pay attention to the red flags and wedding. So if this is a marriage, someone you was married to, Sagittarius, their deception, red flags, and you need to pay attention. If he wasn't there, maybe it was a high level commitment. Aquarius, Capricorn, that go with control issues. Aquarius, dealing with Aquarius, soulmate. Aquarius, dealing with a Pisces. Let your friends help you, children. At the bottom of the deck, you gotta give your relationship a chance. So it's, he just said every time I'm around here, makes me want to sing. So this person sees happiness with you. Let's get your angel number. Number nine, it says, this is a message to release the past with love and light. One for in your life may be closing, but this will bring new and improved opportunities for you. We do have the Wheel of Fortune and the, um, the World Card, which is Cycles Closing to Restart good karma, your destiny, something that's meant to be, something that's supposed to happen. Let's give y'all some music. I gotta sing. We got the number five, which will represent change, Taurus, Cancer, and Capricorn. So that's some additional people y'all could be dealing with. Let's give y'all some music. And this is y'all weekly reading, Aquarius. Thank y'all for the love and support. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Okay, somebody in their feelings. Emotions each time. Maybe somebody been crying. I know I've been changed by LaShawn Pace. She's a Virgo. So maybe the situation that y'all been praying on or this person been praying, this person has changed. 
They're coming back emotionally stable, emotionally invested in this connection. This is your message. Thank y'all for y'all love. Until next time, be easy.